So I've been mentioning that we can use matrices to solve a system of equations. And we can do that. And we're going to learn how to do that in just a minute. But before we can use um, a matrix to solve a system of equations, we need to know how to write a system of, of equations in matrix form. So we're going to write these two systems of equations as a matrix equation. So the first thing we start with is the coefficient matrix. So the coefficient matrix are, is a matrix with just the coefficients with your variables. So that's going to be negative 2, negative 4, 1, and 5. And then we multiply this by x and y since those are our two variables that we are solving for in this particular system of equations. And then that equals what your two equations are equal to. So 10 and 2. Now we'll look at doing this in a calculator in a little bit or later. But So number 6, if you guys were to write that one as a matrix equation, same thing again. Your coefficient matrix, so 5. 7, negative 3, and negative 1. You do want to keep those signs with them. Times x and y equals 1, 3. Now be careful in case your variables aren't lined up. So say this were a y and this were an x. You need to keep your variables in a within the same column. So these correlate to the x and these correlate to the y. So if these were switched, like if that were a y and an x instead of an x and a y, you would have to switch those two numbers within your matrix. So just be careful um, that they are lined up um, so that doesn't get you messed up. So knowing um, how to sort of set this up in a matrix equation, we can use this to solve for individual variables. We can solve for x and y. So using Cramer's rule allows us to solve for each variable separately. So we can solve for x and we can solve for y, giving us that solution or ordered pair. So we start, or we need to know, that the coefficient matrix is A, and then using that, we can sort of use these formulas given below. So what happens is that the coefficient matrix is A, B, C, D, what we do is find the determinant of what our equation is equal to, and that column with our y. So like if we're solving for x, we replace the x column, ac, with ef. And vice versa, if we're trying to solve for y, we replace the y column with ef. And then we find the determinant of um, that matrix. So once we find those, we just divide by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So there's sort of two steps here. Find the determinant of the coefficient matrix, and we use that to divide by the determinant of whatever variable we're trying to find here. So hopefully it will make more sense when we go to try it. So let's go down and look at 7. So the first thing I do is find the determinant of the coefficients first. So let's find the determinant of 3, negative 2, 1, and 4. And we note determinant by the bar, so that's how we know we're finding the determinant. So we've got 3 times 4 minus 1 times negative 2. So 12 minus negative 2 equals 14. So that's the determinant of A, essentially, the determinant of the coefficient matrix. 
So then once we find that, we need to solve for x and y. So if we're solving for x, we're going to replace the 3 and the 1 with what our equation is equal, so 22 and negative 2. Leave the y column there, negative 2 and 4. Divide that by your determinant which we found to be 14. So we have to find, we're gonna have to find the determinant of something three times is what will happen. So 22 times four minus negative two times negative two. So we get 88 minus four over 14. So we end up with 84 over 14, which equals six. So x is 6. Then we need to find our y value. So when we're finding y, we're going to keep the x column. So we'll keep 3 and 1 and replace the y column with 22 and negative 2. Replace that with what our equations equal. Divided by our determinant of the coefficients. So we end up with 1 times 22 or I'm sorry, three times negative two times one times 22. Three times negative two times 22. So we'll get negative six minus 22 over 14. So negative 28 divided by 14 gives us negative two. So if we know that six is x, y is negative 2, our solution to this system of equations is 6, negative 2. And remember, when you guys find a solution, you can always plug it in and check your answer. So what we have to do here is essentially find, use, find the determinant three times. Find the determinant of the coefficient matrix to use that to divide by and then find the determinant when we're trying to find x and when we're trying to find y. So let's go ahead and try number eight. Next. So we've got 3x plus 4y equals 2, 2x plus y equals 3. So let's find the determinant of the coefficients. So 3, 4, 2, and 1. So 3 times 1 minus 2 times 4. So 3 minus 4. Or how about 3 minus 8? Okay, so we've got negative 5 for the determinant of the coefficient. So let's next find x. So when we're finding x, we replace the x column with what our equations equal. Keep the y column, 4 and 1. Divide it by the determinant of negative 5. So 2 times 1 minus 3 times 4. So 2 times 1 is... 2 minus 12 divided by negative 5. So we get negative 10 over negative 5, which is positive 2 for our x. And then let's find the y value. So y will equal, keep that x column, so keep the 3 and 2. And replace the y column with what our equation equals, so 2 and 3, divided by negative 5. So 3 times 2 minus 2 times 2. So 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 2 times 2 is 4. 
divided by negative 5. So 9 minus 4 is 5. Divided by negative 5 is negative 1. So now we've got x and y. So the solution to our system of equations is 2, negative 1. And just like any system of equations, it is possible um, to have no solution or infinite solution when you guys are doing these. So for number 9, <coughs> let's try to do that one real quick. So the determinant of the coefficients, 3, negative 2, 4, negative 3. Equals negative 9 minus negative 8. So that'll be negative 9 plus 8, which equals negative 4. Okay, determinant of the coefficients. So then let's find x. So x will equal, we've got 8. We're going to replace the x column with 8 and 10. Keep the y column, negative 2, negative 3, divided by negative 1. So we get 8 times negative 3, so negative 24 minus negative 20, divided by negative 1. So let's see, negative 4 over negative 1 gives us x to be 4. Let's find our y. So y will equal, keep the x column, so 3 and 4. Replace the y with 8 and 10. Divided by negative 1. So let's see, 3 times 10 is 30. Minus 4 times 8 is 32, divided by negative 1. So negative 2 over negative 1 is positive 2 for our y. So our ordered pair for this system of equations is going to be 4, 2. So we still like to write those ordered pair or those solutions as an ordered pair. just like you would any other time before you learn how to do it with matrices, matrices. So when you guys are doing this, you use Kramer's rule to figure out each individual variable, x and y. Um, but you have to find the determinant of the coefficients first and then find the determinant two more times to get x and to get y. But you divide it by that original determinant of the coefficient matrix.